Now, I'm sure you've been counting. And now, after a 17-year absence, John Lydon is back on tour with his band Public Image Limited, uh, starting with a gig at the Shepherd's Bush Empire tomorrow. Uh, I spoke to the former Johnny Rotten earlier in the week and asked him first why it had taken so long to reform his band. That's not my fault. That's record companies trying to keep me in debt and really not releasing enough records for me to recoup properly. And so for me, the butter campaign for that very fine product of British butter last year did me wonders. It allowed me to um, have the financial freedom to put Pill back together properly, Public Image Limited. Yeah. And. Um, we started here in November, December last year, and from that we were able to jaunt over to the US of A. We've done some 20, 30 uh, concerts. We've kind of got ourselves now financially in a position where we can afford to record by the end of this year, hopefully. And so as part of the continuation of this tour, we're doing some gigs in England again, but at half price on and, the tickets. And you still play on the music you did 30 years ago? Or whatever. Why not? It's all as valid then as it is now. I can't perform any new material live because the copyright laws would, would cripple me. And the amount of people that have copied my music over the yeah. years, it, it really wouldn't warrant well, would it, if I start playing completely new songs without yeah, any but you protection. Want to, you want to do a new album, though? Or? Yeah, oh yes, why not? Yeah. And, who, and who goes? Who are the crowd these days? People like you. It's extremely varied, as always. Young, old. There's, there's no um, prejudice in, in a public image concert. Whereas with the Pistols, it tend to have ended up a very narrow route. But I, I love the Pistols. It's my inheritance. Um, that's where I learned to write songs, and I will always think fondly of, of the chaps. And, and do, you, do you still make money from them, get royalties and the rest? Not enough. I'm Not I mean, enough. Oh, those songs you still When, when you on. live on the honest side of the tracks, um, it's a little bit hard financially. It would be easy to sell out, but it would be inferior product, an inferior lifestyle, and you wouldn't be talking to me now. What about Israel? You are going to play Israel. I definitely will play Israel. Does that mean uh, you're a Zionist or an anti-Palestinian? Uh, neither of those two things. Um, I think it's well known that governments don't like me and politicians definitely not. I play to people. Jews are people too. I would love to play to Palestinians, but there are no offers for me to yeah. do so. If you alienate the public in that way, then anything you do in music is corrupt and utterly politically dis confused. Is there anyone you wouldn't? wouldn't play for? No, so long as it's human beings, but I would never say play well, to... Or the Rolling Stones? I would never play to the Houses of Parliament. You wouldn't play to the Houses of Parliament? No, or no politician, but I will play to human beings. Always. And you cannot use music politically in that way. Now, there's been an awful lot of stuff um, on, uh, spread on the internet about uh, how wrong it is of me to play Israel and how anti-Palestinian that is. No, wrong. I'm playing to people. If you want the mm. Israeli people to understand your Palestinian plight, then let someone like me educate you. Listen to my songs. My songs clearly, clearly, clearly define a completely alien point of view to the Israeli government. What about the your image now? It's, it's, it's different. It's kind of... Uh sort of public school cricket or something, is it what you're wearing? You now? have prejudice against cricket fans? No. Actually, this That's jacket, this jacket comes from Japan. Right. And it, it ain't my fault, I just liked it. No, it's nice, but... I, it... Clothes are fantastic, and you must never ever allow yourself to be assimilated into a uniform mentality. Uh, I never did that in the pistols, I've never done it in pill. I love to mix and match everything because this is the stuff I love. Telling it like it is. Music that means something. Emotionally, personally and even politically. What does it mean I politically? I have had an enormous effect on the music industry. Yeah, and it, it, it's not a question of will it recover from that. It's, I've done it a benefit. I've advanced music. I've introduced new concepts like honesty. These are valid 
and poignant. But why do you think you've introduced honesty as opposed to, uh, I don't know, the Beatles? Or you the don't know, Stones do you? Them? Well, I'm asking you. If you think honesty was the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, you know that's absolutely silly talk. No, they, well, they were I... bands that worked so hard on their image and spent so long going between this, that, and the other, and you so illegitimately and, and in every other way incorrect. The, the, let's just see with the Beatles. I mean, they started out trying to be rock and roll, and they ended up as what? Sergeant Peppers. They would hog on to every current fashion and trend yeah. in order to sell and flog a but, record. I mean, you may have led the fashion, but you too. I mean, after was the name of the band, Pill. Oh, thank you. You're, you're very no, concerned you just, about your public You just image. said this yourself, sir. Led the fashion. Not followed. You don't, you don't think that someone like Mick Jagger was an iconic figure in the way that you <laughs> No, were? he's a very ugly man getting <laughs> uglier by the minute. <laughs> There's nothing in it. You know what I mean? It, it's um, no, it's, well, I, it's I, trying to sell cheesy sexuality and uh, it's kind of repulsive, really. The point I've been trying to ask you is how you would differentiate, if you like, your trajectory from the trajectory of, of a bit that are older than you, a of, of, of a Mick Jagger or someone like that. launching pad? <laughs> no, the, the pattern of your career, I mean, in a sense, it, it's following a fairly conventional uh, rock star pattern, isn't it? Oh, I hardly think so. I Here I am today, well, uh, no record company sponsorship of any kind. I'm living, quite frankly, outside of the music industry. Uh, I'm having to finance I'm this tour. Of Mick Hucknall, Again, you, know. you barked in. Come on, Mick Hucknall, please. That's an, an abstract thought now in the middle of a conversation. And um, what's that fool doing? He's going back out trying to imitate Rod Stewart as the faces. Please don't talk about these people too We're much. playing with the next they member of your band as well. Yes, Glenn another Matlock. tomfoolery. All right? You, but don't associate me with these people. They, they, these are not my folk. Oh, no, no, but how are you different? That's what I'm trying to drive at. Listen to my stuff. It's from the heart, the soul. It's honest. Every single thing I've ever done is honest. I don't know any other way. And I'm certainly not trying to be anybody else. And I'm not hogging on anyone's bandwagon. I don't sound, sing, walk, talk, or look like anything else. I don't need to. My mum and dad raised me quite improperly with the basic philosophy of be yourself, son, and I have been. You think that's improper? Yeah, it is to you lot. Thank you very much indeed. Peace. Over the north of Beijing, as the visibility drops, you'll still see things with